Magandang araw po sa ating lahat na imbag na aldaw kanya tayo amin. Discuss natin ngayon ang corrected voltage formula ng alternator. Ito ang formula for effective voltage in one phase of an alternator na na-discuss natin sa previous na video. Tandaan lang po natin kapag Maxwell's po ang unit ng flux, meron po siyang times 10 raised to negative 8. Pero kung yung unit ng flux is in terms of Weber, matatanggal na po yung times 10 raised to negative 8 na nandito. Ang kinukonsider natin dito ay isang phase lang ng armature ng alternator kung 3 phase ang connection. Meaning phase voltage lang po natin ginagamit yung formula na ito. Depende na ang line-to-line -line voltage kung connected siya into star or delta. Kung delta ang connection, pareho ang voltage ng line-to-line sa -line, sa phase voltage. Pero kung Y connected ang generator, para makuha yung line-to-line -line voltage, multiply natin ng square root of 3, yung phase voltage. Balik tayo dito sa formula since magkakaroon ng karagdagang pitch factor at saka distribution factor sa corrected value ng effective voltage generated inside the generator. Unahin natin itong pitch factor. Coil pitch ang tawag sa distance ng dalawang sides ng coil. Ito po yan. Kung ang distance ng both sides ng coil ay eksaktong 180 electrical degrees, meaning kung nasa gitna ng north ang isa at ang isa naman ay nasa gitna ng south, ang tawag natin doon ay full pitch. Pero kung ang distance ng dalawang sides ng coil ay less than 180 electrical degrees, ang tawag natin dyan ay fractional pitch. Generally, fractional pitch ang ginagamit kesa full pitch dahil nare-reduce ang epekto ng harmonic sa generated EMF. Ito dapat ang waveform ng generated voltage. Ngunit dahil nagkakaroon ng harmonics, nagkakaroon ng distortion doon sa wave ng generated voltage. So para maiwasan ito, gumagamit tayo ng fractional pitch. Ngunit kung gagamit ng fractional pitch, ang generated voltage sa both sides ng coil ay out of phase. At ang resultant coil voltage na magigenerate dito ay mas mababa compared dun sa value ng na-generate sa full pitch. Ang ratio ng generated voltage ng fractional pitch at ng full pitch ay tinatawag nating pitch factor. Ito yung symbol na gagamitin natin para dyan. Ang value nito ay pwede makuha using this formula. Ang raw degrees dito is the span of the coil in electrical degrees. Para makuha ito, the coil span in electrical degrees equals the distance between the coil sides, divide that by the number of slots per pole, multiply that by 180 electrical degrees. Upang mas maintindihan natin ito, let's solve examples. Calculate the pitch factor of a winding of a machine that has 36 slots and 4 poles. The coil span is 1 to 8. Ang span nito ay 1 to 8, kaya ang distance between the coil sides ay 7. From this figure that represents our problem, there are 9 slots per pole. Nakuha natin yon by dividing 36 slots by 4 poles, that is 9 Kaya kung mapapansin natin dito sa figure, ito yung isang pole at meron siyang 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 slots. Pero ang 180 electrical degrees ito ay aabot hanggang 10 slots. From our problem, ang distance between the two sides of the coil, ito po yan, ay 7. From slots, number 1, 2, 8. Kung bibilangin natin ito, mulad po dito sa slot number 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Kaya ulitin natin, ang distance between the two sides of the coil ay 7. Ganon din kung halimbawa, ang span ng coil is 1 to 14, meaning yung distance between the coil sides ay 13. Kung 1 to 16 naman ang span nito, ang distance nila ay 15. Balikan natin tong problem natin. Ito ang gagamitin nating formula para dyan. So, hanapin muna natin ang span ng coil in electrical degrees using this formula. Ang distance between the coil sides ay 7. Number of slots, that is 36. Number of pole is 4. Multiply that by 180 degrees. Simplify muna natin yung 36 all over 4 dito, that is 9. 7 over 9 times 180 degrees. Ang makukuha natin dito ay 140 degrees. 
Now, using the formula for pitch factor, substitute natin yung value na 140 degrees dito. Sine 140 degrees over 2. Ito ay magiging 70 degrees. So, sine 70 degrees, ang sagot natin dyan ay 0 0.94. Ito ngayon yung value ng pitch factor. Let's have additional samples. Calculate the pitch factors for the following windings. Letter A, 72 slots, 6 poles. At ang span nito ay 1 to 10. Letter B, 96 slots, 6 poles. At ang span nito is 1 to 12. Unain natin itong letter A. Using this formula, yung distance between the coil sides to ay 9 ang value. Number of slots per pole, 72 divide that by 6. That is 12. So, ibig sabihin, 9 over 12 po ito, times 180 degrees, we have 135 degrees. Kunin natin ang value ng pitch factor using this formula. Substitute natin yung 135 degrees dito, we have pitch factor equals sine 135 degrees divided by 2. At ang makukuha natin dito ay 0.924. Puntaan naman natin itong letter B, 96 slots, 6 poles. Yung distance between the coil sides, 1 to 12 ang span nito. So, ibig sabihin, 11 ang value dito. Number of slots per pole, we have 96 slots, divide that by 6. That is 16. Substitute natin, 11 over 16 times 180 degrees. At ang angle dito is 124 degrees. Substitute natin ito dun sa ating formula. We have pitch factor equals sine 124 degrees divide that by 2. At ang value dito is 0 0.883. Ngayon puntahan naman natin ang distribution factor. Ang bawat group ng coil ng armature ay connected in series. Halimbawa dito sa mga three phase, merong tatlong grupo ng coils dyan. Dito sa delta or dito sa may y. At ang bawat group dito, halimbawa ito, this is composed of many coils connected in series. At ang mga terms dito ay distributed sa mga slots ng armature core. Halimbawa po dito sa figure natin, makikita natin na hindi po sa iisang slot nakalagay ang lahat ng coils or turns kung di nakadistribute po sila in different slots. Whether ang armature ay nakalagay sa rotor ng machine or doon sa stator ng machine. Although sa mga malalaking generators, nakadesign po ang mga armature na nakalagay po sila sa stator. Unlike for smaller machines, ang armature winding nakalagay po yun sa rotor. Sa mga power plants, mas efficient ang generation ng electricity at mas maganda ang design ng machine kung ang armature winding ay nakalagay sa stator. Ang total voltage ng bawat group ng coil ay sum ng lahat ng voltages na na-generate sa mga turns since they are connected in series. Ngunit dahil distributed ang mga ito sa armature, hindi sila sabay-sabay or hindi sila in phase sa pag-generate ng voltage. May certain electrical degrees silang distance sa bawat isa. Dito na papasok yung kinukompute natin sa AC circuits na may mga angles of displacement ang bawat voltage. Ang epekto naman nito sa total generated voltage ng bawat group of coils sa armature ng mga generators ay less than the sum of the magnitude of each coil dahil sa angle of displacement ng mga ito since they are out of phase. Kahit sabihin natin na magkapare-pareho yung magnitude ng mga voltages ngunit dahil merong differences ng mga angles nila magkakaroon ito ng malaking difference dun sa makukuha nating total voltage. To simplify the computation, dito po mapasok ang distribution factor na dapat i-multiply kasama ng pitch factor dun sa effective voltage upang makuha ang correct value nito. Ang pag-distribute ng mga windings sa slots ay may epekto in improving the shape of the voltage na mas magiging sinusoidal wave ito. At ang mechanical strength ng windings ay mai-improve din. Nandito ang gagamitin nating formula for distribution factor, wherein n, that is the number of slots per pole per phase, at yung distribution angle, that is the number of electrical degrees between adjacent slots. Mukhang komplikadong tandaan ng formula na ito. 
Pero mas madaling matanda nito kung ginagamit-gamit natin. Anyway, let's try to solve a sample problem. Calculate the distribution factor of 4 a third 6 slot, 4 pole, 3 phase winding. Ang value ng slots per pole, 36 slots divided by 4 poles, that is 9. Ang angle para dyan, 180 degrees divided by slots per pole, 9 ang value ng slots per pole. So 180 degrees divided by 9 is equal to 20 degrees. Para naman sa number of slots per pole per phase, 36 slots divided by 4 poles divided by 3 for 3 phase. This is equivalent to 3. Substitute natin ang mga values na ito sa ating formula. Distribution factor equals sine 3 times 20 degrees divided by 2 divided by 3 sine 20 divided by 2. Ang sagot dito, this is the distribution factor is 0 0.96. Ngayon, we will solve the corrected voltage of an alternator. Na meron na itong pitch factor at saka distribution factor. Again, kung ang unit ng flux ay Maxwell's, meron itong times 10 raised to negative 8. Pero kung Weber naman ang unit ng flux, wala na po itong times 10 raised to negative 8. Let's have a sample problem. The following information is given in connection with an alternator. Number of slots is 96. Number of poles, 4. Speed, 1,500 RPM. Turns per coil, 16. Flux, 2.58 times 10 raised to 6 Maxwell's. Coil span nito is 1 to 20. Ang winding, whole coiled lap, 3 phase. Calculate the generated voltage per phase. So per phase ang hinahanap natin dito. Umpisan natin by determining first the frequency. Formula natin dyan, frequency equals the number of poles times the speed of the generator divided by 120. So 4 times 1,500 divided by 120 is 50 hertz. Next, we determine the number of turns per phase. Since there are 96 slots, there will be a total of 96 coils for this winding. Kunin muna natin yung number of coils per phase, 96 coils divided by 3 for 3 phase. So, meron tayong 32 coils per phase. Multiply natin ito dun sa turns per coil. That is 16. So, number of turns per phase, 32 coils, times 16 turns per coil, we have 512 turns. Next, kunin na natin ang pitch factor sa distribution factor. Unahin natin ang pitch factor. Kunin muna natin yung distance between the coil sides in electrical degrees. Distance between the coil sides, ang span nito is 1 to 20. Ibig sabihin, kukunin natin is 19. Divide that by the number of slots per pole. Is slots is 96. Pole is 4 times 180 degrees. So, substitute natin. So, ang sagot dito is 142.5 degrees. Substitute natin yan sa ating formula. So, we have sine 142.5 degrees divided by 2. Pitch factor equals 0 0.95. Next, let's go to the distribution factor. Unay muna natin kunin yung slots per pole. That is 96 slots divided by 4 poles. We have 24 slots per pole. Yung angle for that, 180 degrees divided by slots per pole, which is 24. So 180 degrees divided by 24 equals 7.5 degrees. Ngayon naman, yung number of slots per pole per phase 96 divided by 4 divided by 3. This is equivalent to 8. Substitute natin ito. Dun sa ating formula, we have distribution factor equals sine 8 times 7.5 degrees divided by 2. Divide this by 8 sine 7.5 degrees divided by 2. For distribution factor, we have 0 0.955. Ngayon, pwede na natin isolve ang corrected generated voltage per phase using this formula. Substitute natin yung mga given. So that is 4.44 times the frequency which is 50. Number of turns is 512. Flux is 2.58 times 10 raised to 6. Pitch factor 0 0.95 and distribution factor is 0 0.955 times 10 raised to negative 8. So ang sagot dito is 2,660.539 volts. Ito na mismo yung sagot dun sa kinukompute natin dyan. Ngunit dagdagan lang natin ito, 
para magkaroon tayo ng idea dun sa terminal voltage ng alternator. Ngayon nakadepende dun sa winding ng alternator whether it is connected in delta or Y. Kung delta ang connection ng generator, therefore, yung phase voltage na ito is also equivalent to the line-to-line -line voltage or terminal voltage. Ngunit kung naka-star or Y connected ang alternator, in order to determine the line-to-line -line voltage or terminal voltage, we use this formula. Line-to-line -line voltage equals square root of 3 times the phase voltage. Substitute natin yung values. We have line-to-line -line voltage equals square root of 3 times 2,660.539 volts. Ang magiging sagot dito is 4,608.189 volts. Yan lamang po sa ngayon. Hopefully, meron tayong natutunan sa araw na ito. Maraming salamat po sa panunood. Maraming salamat din po sa mga nag-subscribe. Magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Naimbag na aldaw kanya tayo amin. God bless po.